Coach, first of all, this venue, you're moving out of it next year. You do get one chance to play there, but what's your first impressions of it? And have you ever been here before? Well, first of all, I've never been here before to Municipal, but certainly I think the size of it presents a, an opportunity to have a great atmosphere. So looking forward to some fans being here tomorrow and, uh, and, and certainly looking forward to our players playing with a lot of energy. Third time that you play a team, what are keys for you in trying to get your team ready? Well, I think our understanding of who they are from a personnel standpoint is really important. Also, how they've scored on us, what some of their tendencies are that way, how they've defended. So we have a chance to go back and watch a lot of different film and see those type of things. The popular view is, hey, you got to adjust. you got to make adjustments. But at this time of year, you're trying to limit practice a little bit, I know, trying to get people rested more than anything. How much of that is possible? Well, I think understanding why understanding what the adjustment is and why we're making that adjustment is really important. We have really intelligent young ladies and so if they understand the big picture and the why behind it, they want to do it and so they have a better ability to do it if they understand all the pieces that go into it. And a lot of things like that, do you have to have a lot of court practice time to get through them or can they learn video scouting report? I think they can learn through video. They can learn through watching it and then walking through it. So some of the things that we do aren't necessarily live. We do very limited things live at this point in time, but being able to at least see it and then walk through it's important. And then are you scoreboard watching? Are you bid watching? I know this tournament, you don't want to look past it, but... Uh, you know, how have you done that personally, and then how do you share that information with your team? Well, the important thing for us, obviously, is that we prepare for our game against Oklahoma State. That's that's the most important thing, you know. But ultimately, I think our young ladies have done an incredible job of positioning ourselves to be in the conversation. And honestly, I, I really truly believe that our young ladies have deserved an opportunity to play on in the big dance. And so we're going to give that information to you know the people that that make some of those decisions and see what they do with that. Ultimately, our but what do we do with our team? We focus on who we are and how we prepare against Oklahoma State. And finally, Madison said that one of the important things for her and her teammates was to have fun with this, to remember, you know, hey, we're not just here to grind it out. Do you think that's been a big factor for your team this year? I think it's been something that's been a, a really big factor for us, and it was fun to see how much enthusiasm they've had, in not in only in our practices, but also I think last night going to see our men's team play and our men's team pull out a big win and then take pictures along the way you know, in, in Kansas City. I think that's all a part of it, the experience. When, you're, when, when you ask your young ladies to really work their tails off and get after it and they can smile and love it at the same time, then you know what? I think it's, it really becomes something that is, is energizing for everyone.